So, you play the violin now, do you? Father, what are you doing here? How do you pay for the upkeep of this place? I think that entitles me to visit at least once in a while, don't you? Is that your own violin? Give it to me. Now that you've seen me play a little, I want to ask you something. I was hoping you might be able to find a position for me in your orchestra. Doing what? I want to be a musician like you. I don't think that's the career I agreed with you, Mother. Maybe not, but it's the career I've chosen. There is to be no more discussion in this matter. Won't you at least... For God's sake! You're only 16, boy! You were younger than that when you started out. That was different. Oh. I couldn't trade on someone else's name, could I? I had to make my own reputation. When I started out, I had nothing. I certainly couldn't use my father's name to get me anywhere. I'm not going to apologise for the name you gave me. Look, I'm telling you this for your own good. You stay away from my music. Vienna already has a Strauss to call her own. She doesn't want another. Why don't we let Vienna decide for herself what she does and doesn't want? Look, I've been preparing some pieces of my own, some waltzes. What do you know about waltzes? I was writing waltzes before you were even born. Of course, I'm talking to the great waltz king, aren't I? I'm warning you, boy! You stay away from my music! Stop that! Leave him alone! Leave him alone! Why don't you go and bully your other family? I suppose this is all you're doing, is it? I have done nothing more than support my son. Against my expressed wishes. Your wishes are no longer my concern. We'll see about that. He could only demonstrate his feelings by his failure to attend the concert. But the younger Strauss was destined to win this battle between father and son. And he won it in the only way he could. He went on stage and played. Despite Hirsch and his efforts to cause trouble, the concert was a huge success. Not only did the critics write rave notices, but literally thousands of people turned out, curious to see how the son of Johann Strauss would compare with his father. In his eyes, it was nothing short of treachery. I had betrayed him. You're not the only Strauss who plays here, you know. And I welcome in your dressing room. I'm just surprised to see you, that's all. I wanted to see you play. Where were you? I didn't see you. Well, how could you? There must be 5,000 people out there. To think this is one of the venues that refused to let me play. About that affair, Johan, I want you to know that I regret that. Really? Oh, I dare say that Hirsch thought he was acting in my best interests. But what he did, I'm certain I don't need to tell you. Had I known about it, I would have put a stop to it. So it was Hirsch? You don't think I had any involvement, do you? Look, I don't mean to be rude, but I only have a few minutes. You don't mind if I... I haven't completely forgotten what it's like to keep such a large audience waiting. Why have you come to see me? I've decided it would be in both our interests if we shared a common orchestra. Really? When did you decide this? It doesn't make very good business sense us competing against each other. One of us is sure to lose out. Not frightened of a little competition at last. I'm not doing this for myself, I'm doing it for you. 
Just imagine the Johann Strauss Orchestra. What with my talent and your discipline, there's nothing we couldn't achieve. When I begged to be a part of your orchestra, you made your feelings quite clear. You were not ready. And now I am. With my guidance, yes. Well, as tempting an offer as it undoubtedly is, I think I'm going to have to pass on it. I won't let you turn down this opportunity. The audience is paying to see me, not you. Johan! I will not have you talking to me like that. You can't get what you want by raising your voice anymore, Father. And as for your proposition, as far as I can see, you need me a lot more than I need you. So, why don't you go and play your music, and I'll go and play mine. Now, you really will have to excuse me. I hate to keep such a large audience waiting. No. You go. I'll see myself out. So you thought I did well tonight? The audience seemed to think so. What did you think? Keep working on it, Johann. Who knows? One day you might just write a waltz worthy of the name Johann Strauss. <laughs> <laughs>